Next question is from Sonia Grewal zero one. What would you do when you do not feel like eating? Let me start over. here. <laughs> <laughs> what should you do when you do not feel like eating or are not hungry, but still need to maintain your caloric intake? Okay. So without knowing too much more uh, or more information about this person, I'm going to assume you're a healthy individual um, because there could be some psychological stuff. I, I've had this with female clients in particular where I'm trying to get them to eat an appropriate amount of calories mm -hmm. and they just psychologically just a block there. They're afraid yeah. of yeah. gaining weight, but let's just say you're a healthy person and your body's like, I'm not hungry. Okay. Step number well, first, number one, I would say, listen to your body. Okay. Forcing your body in one direction or another usually means it's probably not the best for your body, but let's say you've got these really hardcore goals, uh, you know, and you, and you do have, and when you have really, really specific goals, sometimes you do need to push your body a little bit. I would say the first thing I would do is look at what I'm eating and seeing if it's causing any digest digestive issues. Because eating more calories, if you're eating foods that you are intolerant to and they cause bloat uh, or gas or acid reflux, um, those foods are going to make it hard for you to continue to eat uh, more calories. So I would go more to the fast digesting, easy digestive types of foods. For me, that would be beef and rice and well-cooked vegetables. I could eat a lot of those. Potatoes. Potatoes, uh, to some extent, if I push those too hard, that'll cause me to blow. Wheat, definitely not. That would make me not want to eat again because I tend to have digestive issues with wheat. So that would be the first thing uh, that I would say. Um, but there's other strategies too. Like if you've been bulking for a long time, uh, like a, a few days of low calories, Typically would jump you right I was, back on. That's where I was going to go, right? So my – one, it depends, right, like who we're talking to because there's there's a lot of different ways I think I would communicate this based off of what your goal is. But something I think that has changed for me personally today that was different than maybe just seven, eight years ago as a personal trainer, um, I don't – I so you, this happened to me yesterday. Yesterday uh, – I had uh, what did I have for breakfast? I can't remember what I had for breakfast. I think I had in my my staple right now, which is pop tarts. Like four, no, four <laughs> four <laughs> eggs, sourdough toast, and and then bacon. And then I didn't eat again till late at that night, and it was like chicken soup. That was literally like all I ate that night. In the past, I would freak out about that. In the past, because I was so hung up on getting enough calories and eating enough food and fear of losing muscle that I would run downstairs and eat a bag of popcorn, ice cream, whatever, anything just to get calories so I didn't lose, right? That where my attitude towards that now is like like you just alluded to, Sal, is if I've been eating uh, you know, ample amount of calories for three, four, five, or a week or two weeks in a row, having a day of super low, even a couple days of really low mm -hmm. calorie will probably do me some good. And so I don't really worry about it too much. So it really depends where this client is at with their eating. Do you, I mean, if you're consistently eating in a surplus because you're trying to gain, and then you have one day where you're just like, man, I'm just not hungry. I'm not feeling like it. That's I love to go low. Go low that day because watch the next day, your appetite will probably be kicking kick up. I think that's the thing I would caution my client who I give this advice to. So if I tell my client, hey, don't worry about you know eating hitting the calorie intake. You know, you've been doing really good. One low calorie day is not going to hurt us whatsoever. What I'd caution them is be careful because you went so low today. Tomorrow you might feel these crazy cravings and have the temptation to want to go eat outside of your meal plan. So that's the one thing that I would caution somebody who I'd say don't worry about one day of not hitting your calorie into a target is the next day you may find yeah. your cravings. Now, stuff. if you're that like classic hard gainer, right? If you're that person that's just metabolism is roaring, you're skinny, it's, you find it very hard to gain any weight um, and you're, you're really dedicated to doing this, um, drinking some of your calories. Yeah, I was going to uh, say smoothies or shakes. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, if you can tolerate dairy, like this, is a, here's an easy way to add 500 calories to your diet. Drink a glass of whole milk with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, I'll, I'll, gain, I'll put some nice calories, give you some extra protein, and it doesn't fill you up nearly as much uh, as food will. But, um, but again, I think for the average person, you got to listen to your body. I think when you mm. push your body uh, too hard in one direction or another, and you're ignoring your body's signals, uh, the, the detriments outweigh any positives you might get from the extra calories.